Yo, 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 my Star Citizens and Noob Gamers. Welcome back to another episode of Star Citizen with me, Minnings. And in today's episode, I'm going to be going through my camera views with you guys. So we hope you like this video, guys. If you do like this video, don't forget to hit that punch and tickle that like button. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification for more videos as we drop them. And uh, yeah, so let's get into this one, guys. So, camera views. This is important. I, had, I ended up buying a new keyboard because I didn't have a numpad on my other keyboard. So I bought a new keyboard, so I've got a number pad. But obviously, you can set up these camera views how you want um, but I wanted an unpad for it and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use Emily on top of that so what I've done going to do is I'm going to go into my options and what I've done is I've if you go to your key bindings here in advanced controls and then scroll all the way down you have your key bindings here and so what I've done is I've, with my numpad, I've got my um, modifier on the, the numpad uh, forward slash and the second modifier on numpad star. And then to save a view, I hold my modifier. You have to hold your modifier. And you then I press right control and numpad one, two, nine. And then to load a view, once I've saved it, I just press the modifier, which is this backslash thing here, the, the forward slash and the numpad one all the way down to nine. And then I've got different things then for moving around um, that the offsets and stuff like that and the fields of view and and just different things. And then I've got a final one which is resetting the current view to zero. Back to the back to um, back to the basic. So let's do this. Uh, to do that basically, so say like on the load view, I just double click it and then I press what I want. And then we'll say yes on that numpad one and that's basically how I do that and then once you've done that what I would suggest then is to save that controls and I'll say Tony keyboard oh keyboard 19.1 cameras just so much iteration I've got and then once that's done basically I just come into here back into my game and what I'll do is I'll just press Z on my third person and I'll just get my camera to where I want it or close to where I want it. Then I'll use like shift and the plus and minus uh, with the with the forward slash with the plus and minus. So shift will move me back in. Uh, holding shift and the forward slash will plus and minus will bring me zoom me in and out. So say if I want like a close up of me like that, maybe looking at my looking at you like that. So what I need to do is maybe spin my body around a bit. So sort that close up like that. And then what I'll do is I'll save this one at number nine maybe. So if I press back, uh, backslash, control, and keep hold of nine, keep hold of all three of them for a couple of seconds and then release them. I can then, if I move my camera view with Z and then press backslash and nine, it'll jump straight to that camera view there. So I'm gonna do this with them all. So now I'm going to use the backslash command and that goes up and down. So you can go up and down with, with the plus and minus and the command and the backslash. And then shift will go in and out and control with the backslash will go left and right like that. So if I want it on the other side and maybe up a bit. Right there, maybe. And then look. Like that. So I've got it on that side now, the person. Uh, maybe just adjust that a little bit to the left or something. There, like that. And then there we are. So I've got it on that side this time. And again, what I'll do is I'll backslash, control, and eight this time. Keep hold of them and then release. And so now we've all backslash, forward slash on the numpad nine, because that side. Eight, because that side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my view back to there. Reset my view. So the game crashed, so I'm just back on again now. So if I hold back, backslash that side and number number nine, that side is number eight. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset my character to the back here. Have that reset my, actually my view is, if I go to number backslash nine and then I press backslash alt, right alt, right control, right shift and zero. 
that just resets my thing there. So next thing is so I've got nine and eight. Now what I want is a far away one. So maybe turn my character a bit. Turn her around a bit. Because I want a far away one. And I'm going to hold backspace and shift and just come out a bit. And then just maybe drop down a bit. And then shift again to come out. Down. Just so I've got a far, far away shot. Like that, that'll do. And then I'll save that to number seven. So backspace, or oh, forward slash, sorry. Forward slash, control, right control, seven. Keep hold of them. But, so I've got number nine, number eight, number seven. And then I'll do one more. And then we've also got the reset. So I'll do one more, which will be like a side view one maybe, like just a side view, like that. And maybe I'll pull out just a little bit. That's then I'm going to pull in right onto her head. So like a close up of her head, like on the side view. And maybe just push it to the left, maybe. And more. Like that. And then just bring it around a little bit. Side view. There we are. And then I'll save that as number six. So, forward slash control, keep all the six. And that's them done. So I've got nine, eight, seven, six and then be set to the back so the other six that i've got or should i say one two the other five i've got i'm going to save for ship so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to say i'm going to go to the ship Location. okay guys so i'm just going to get the ship arm i've got the taurus i've got a fairly big ship here because i want to have a ship a big ship so that i can do this with it so we go with the Taurus. So, I set some, um, the game crashed on me earlier and I did set some things. So, let's see if those work. Those work. Turn engines on. Turn ship on. Starting pre-flight protocols. Starting pre-flight protocols. All systems operational. All systems operational. Request takeoff. Requesting clearance. Stand by. So what I've done is I've set some views already. In, and I've set number one to be up above the view. So basically when I'm coming down into a hangar. Thank you. And please visit again. Um, I can get a full full view of that. I've set a back one so that when I'm coming into a front facing hangar, like what I've just came out of, I can see that. I've got a side view for if I need a side view. And I've got a front view for if I'm coming out of an hangar or I want something like a screenshot from that. And then I've got number five, which is an underneath view, which will be like if I'm coming out of, out of an hangar, not into an hangar. So those are what I've set. And basically it was just Again, using the, the plus and the minuses with the forward slash and the command and alt thing that I did um, just to get the right view. And so basically now what I need to do is I need to set these views into my Emily. So that's what I'm going to do. So let me come back to these. And if I press that, that, that and that, it's puts it back to the normal view, which is where we want to be. Let's get that sun out of our eyes. Okay, so let's do this. So I'm gonna bring over the Emily, you can see here. This is my Emily, and I'm gonna hit the design on this one. 
And the first thing I'm going to set is my reset view, which is the one I've got there. So the way I do this is I add a new command here. And whatever you want to set to Emily, that's what you're going to call it. So if I say uh, normalize camera, something like that, or normal camera, normal camera will do, normal camera. It's a miscellaneous, add that. And what I'm going to do is add the keystrokes that I need to do that. And so that is, I'm going to press and hold the forward shift, uh, forward slash, add that quick. Then I'm going to do a press and release on number, uh, sorry, I'm going to do a press and hold, uh, sorry, a key combo on right alt, right shift and right control, all them three I press. And I'm going to do a delay before pressing is going to be zero or one, should I say. Modify release, I'll leave it at five, and release delay, I'll bring down to about three. And that's going to be zero on the number pad. So I'm pressing the the forward slash, the, all these modifiers, and zero. And I'm making sure zero, is, there's no delay for me pressing it. So at the moment, I've got these down, that's being pressed as well. So I'm going to add that, and then I'm going to do key and release, and shift. So that's it. Hold the, hold the uh, not the shift, sorry, the forward slash. Press the modifiers and the numbers and the zero, and then release that. And that should do that for me. So if I save that, and go on to here and say I've uh, changed the camera view. Actually, let me... Oh. Let me move my Emily, and what I'll do is... Reactivate it, and then I'm going to move my view so it's a different angle, and then try that. So we're going to call this one Camera Reset. Save that. Camera Reset. Save that and see if that works. Camera Reset. There we are. So let's try that again. Um, just change our view. Camera reset. There we are. So we've got that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each one of these now, and then I'll do the first person ones as well. So let me do that. Let me go to design. And command, and I'm going to put side view. Um, I'm going to put ship side view. Uh, it's going to be a miscellaneous, add that, and it's going to be a key press, and it's going to be a press and hold. Like that, I'm going to add that. And then we're going to have a key, press and hold, uh, press and release. I'm trying to remember what it is now, I think it's... Oh. <laughs> is that one. Edit that. It's number seven. No, it's number... Number three. Add that. And then we'll do a key and release. So that should be that one. It's seven thingy that one. Let's check that one. So let's have a look. Okay, so I've got the, the main ones now. So I've got ship back view. Ship side view. Ship front view. Ship take off under. Ship landing top. Ship side view. Right, so I've got the them ones done. Now it's time to do these ones. So let me do these. I've already got the reset. 
camera reset thing. Person long. Person left. <laughs> camera reset. <laughs> Person side. Person long. Okay, that's come. I can't do because of the doors in the way. If I was to move, then it might do longer like that. So it's because I'm close. At... Person right. Ship back view. So as I'm coming into land, deploy landing gear. I can get a better um, angle of where I'm at because I, and I can just say it. I can sort of get my better things and my better views of where I'm at. And then I could say ship front view. I could see how far I am then coming into it, how far I am to the walls here. There we are. So when I'm coming into here now, I can start positioning myself. But the moment I start doing this, I lose the back end and how close I am to the back end when I start getting close to the dropping in. Because you, you can't see the opening at the back end. So in this, in this instance, I can then say, ship back view. Ship landing top. So now I can do this basically. And as I'm over it, I can start coming down. And I start getting a sense in of where I'm at. How close I'm at. Coming into it. And whether I'm going to make the actual bait itself from front and back. So that's why this is good. Because I can get a clear view going down into my, into my bays then. So I know I'm just start coming back a little bit. And there we are. So, complete. Have a pleasant stay. And then when I'm taking off, ship take off under. And that'll give me an under view um, for when I want to come out of the, the angers. So as I start lifting off, I'll be able to see underneath. So that's it. Camera reset. That's the use of this. Turn engines off. Powering down systems. Please so that's that, guys. So setting them cameras, uh, then setting them on my pads, uh, setting the camera itself or the camera buttons then setting the look of the camera and saving that and then you and then adding that to my emily commands and that way then as i'm landing and i want different views i can uh, facilitate that and i may have to go in and change some of the commands and just get used to the sayings like i already know a lot like like now with my landing gears and stuff like that and turning my engines off so it's just a matter of getting the right sayings that I want and figuring that stuff out so it might take a little bit of tweaking but you get the gist of what I'm doing and, and how I can use this so yeah so we hope you like this one guys we hope it helps you out and hopes you uh, you guys um, see a use in it and maybe it helps some people with the landings in, in the pads and in the hangers and stuff like that instead of having to press buttons and change your views around you can just say it and if you do like that and you do want to get hold of Emily we do have a affiliate code with Emily Noobs25 sure and there's a link in the description. 
check that out if you want to get Emily and to use Emily Voice Command to command your ship with voice. Because I use a game pad, it just comes in handy. Um, now I'm going to take my hand off the pad and actually say the sayings like Remember, there with the cameras then. So yeah, so we hope you like that one, guys. If you did, don't forget to hit that point, tickle that like button for us. Don't forget to hit that bell and subscribe notification. Don't forget to uh, yeah, check the description out for the Discord links and other things we've got going on. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys at Universe.